Kris Jenner's new talk show, Chris, has been getting terrible reviews, and apparently she's attempted to win over one particularly dissatisfied TV critic with a bribe. In her July 16th column, the New York Post, Linda Stassi wrote that the 57-year-old reality star said, quote, comes across as a spoiled, vacuous woman with nothing to say of any interest, importance, or humor. Stassi also wrote that the talk show is, quote, so horrible it should come with a hazard warning. After the story surfaced, Jenner sent a dozen Magnolia cupcakes and a $325 Tiffany Sterling silver pen to New York Post columnist. I wish I were that columnist. Yeah. Right? Well, then she said something like, you know, uh, if you next time you write your review, think of the, you know, use this pen. Um, maybe, you know, as I get better, if, it, if I improve, you'll write a new review. I mean, this is reportedly, but if she really did this, this is like serious bribery. I mean, how I mean, often does that happen? I mean, I wouldn't, you know, not a lot of this stuff is out in the public, but I'm sure people have bribed bribed critics because that's where you get your fans and that's where you get your reviews so if someone's telling you know everyone who's reading their column that your tv show stinks i mean people are not going to watch it anymore and i don't know if you've seen chris but it's not the best show on television well she came on a post live to promote it yeah uh, i haven't seen the show yet you know it's very kardashian like you know she's a kardashian and she always will be our kardashian so it's very um it's not like in an ellen degeneres it's not you know, Kelly Ripa, it's, you know, it's different, but I think she has enough fans that they're probably you know watching. What? She's going to have to have the baby come on. I know. She's got to boost those she's ratings somehow. She's got to boost those ratings somehow. She also, she's only got a six-week period um, for now. and it if always it gets takes a, some time to Yeah, to and if really it gets notice. a full, you know, air schedule, then we'll see, but if her ratings don't But it's not just New York Post. Universally, the critics have been Yeah, pretty, pretty harsh. Pretty huh. harsh.